Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Recently, Topaz Labs updated Denoise AI to version 3.7. Today, I just want to demo the latest version of Denoise AI and talk about a couple of the new or updated features found in this version. I also want to mention that I received an email from Topaz Labs. Many of you know that I have a discount code that you could use to save when you purchase any Topaz Labs product. The email stated that they're eliminating personal discount codes for all their affiliates. So I have a personal discount code and maybe somebody else who does videos on Topaz Labs products has their own personal discount code. Well, apparently they're eliminating all those discount codes and I think they'll still be working until August 1st. Instead, what they're going to be doing is when they have sales on product or they're ready to promote a specific product like Denoise, they'll have a universal discount code that they'll give to all their affiliates. So we'll all use the same discount code. Now, with that said, uh, they gave me a discount code, a universal discount code for Denoise AI. I'll have that listed in the description below this video. Apparently, though, my discount code is still working as well. I believe until August 1st, I have that listed in the description below this video as well. So um, I don't know if you could use them in combination. I doubt it, but it's worth a try. Anyway, today we're going to be using Denoise AI as a plugin in Lightroom only because it's more convenient to compare the images uh, side by side. So I have this image here. It was shot with a Fujifilm X-T1. You could see the ISO was 6,400. It was a relatively low light shot. So you could see there's a considerable amount of noise. So let's send it into Denoise AI. I'm going to right click right on it, go down to edit in, and then over to Topaz Denoise AI. Now, because it's a raw file and Lightroom will not allow you to send a raw file directly into a plugin, you have to send a copy. So uh, the default is TIFF with these settings, and we'll do that and we'll click at it. Now Lightroom, as you can see by the progress bar in the top left hand corner, is creating this TIFF file with those specifications and it will open it up into Denoise AI. Now let's talk about what's updated in this version. Specifically, the algorithm for the low light model has been updated so that it gives col better color rendition. Um, you may have noticed with version 3.6, and I did see this, um, the color sometimes would be blotchy if you use the low light model. Apparently that has been eliminated. Now, personally, I found I don't use low light model that much. I tend to use either the standard model or the severe noise model. Those seem, those two models seem to work better on the specific types of images I take with the cameras I use. Now you may differ, but if you do use that low light model, you're probably happy for this update. The other thing they've done is um, they've improved performance with NVIDIA um, graphics cards. So if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, uh, you should see improved performance. And they fixed a bunch of bugs and they added some new support for cameras. So if you're using this as a standalone application with raw files, they added some support for cam uh, different cameras, including the Olympus OM-1. In the description below this video, I'll have a link to Topaz Labs website where they talk about the updates found in this version of the software. Now, as I mentioned, um, I don't use the low light model that much. Right now, for those of you not familiar with Denoise AI, there's different view modes. I like to use what's called comparison view, where I could look at four of the five different AI models at one time. Currently in the top left hand corner, I have the standard AI model and you can see I have the preferences set to auto. Clear is to the right of that. To the lower left is low light and to the lower right is severe noise and all of them are on auto. I like to put them all on auto. So I'm comparing apples to apples, oranges to oranges. And just on auto, I determine which one seems to look best. And in my opinion, looking at them in comparison view, uh, severe noise looks to be the best. So then what I'll do is if I want to say, take a look at raw, I'll take like the worst one, maybe clear is the worst one. And I'll just swap it out by making it active, then clicking on raw and let it render. And then I could get a look at this fifth one. Now this definitely isn't 
as good as even clear was. So I'm going to go with severe noise, make that active, and then what I do is I go to single view, and you have to wait for it to render. And once it renders, I'll take a look, and then if it needs any tweaking, I'll tweak it. I'll maybe remove a little more noise. There seems to be a tiny bit of noise in his hair. You have to let it render each time you move an adjustment. And that looks pretty good. So I'm going to click Apply. And what it will do is it will return us back to Lightroom Classic. And then we can compare the two uh, images. Uh, this is, of course, the Topaz Labs image. This is the original RAW file. What we're going to do is we're going to go up to View, and I'm going to go down to Lock Zoom Position so that when I click between the two zoomed in, it won't shift uh, between them. Now what we'll do is uh, we'll take first, I'm going to hold the Command key on my Mac, Control key on a PC, and we'll take a look at my son's head here. See, this is the noise reduced image. There's the noisy image. You can see there's a considerable amount of noise. There's the noise reduced image. Let's take a look at another area, this area over here. Let's go to the noisy one first. This darker area, a lot of times darker areas on images have more noise. Didn't really zoom in that much. There we go. There is after. So you could see it got rid of the noise, and that is purposely blurred out because I obviously was framing him. He was in the recording studio um, in Buffalo, GCR recording studio recording. I don't know what he was doing. He's in the recording studio all the time. Uh, but this was several years ago, actually. Uh, but you could see it did a pretty good job, and I think the noise is excellent. Uh, whether or not the actual improvements in this version will help you at all is you know, up for you to, you know, really up to you to decide. Because for me, I don't think they're really that significant. But it is still probably my favorite plugin. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>